The peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Eurade asunje and kamunina. Yede eurade as ene de ise washe yenso na odi akan atiasi for hu ni mu ni atiasi ni mu ni akika yahu ni mu ene yinyang kwa. People of God, our theme for today is chosen from Philippians chapter two. 12 to 16. The passage is Philippians chapter 2, 12 to 16, and the theme for reflection is live according to the gospel. Live according to the gospel. Live according to the gospel. The gospel of Christ, living according to the gospel. The Bible says, "What is the gospel?" You know, the gospel is not a it's not a, a thing. The gospel is a personality. When you are talking about the gospel, we are talking about Jesus Christ. Is the gospel? Is the, the savior? You can asempana. And Jesus Christ, He came to die for us. He came to die in our place. Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But in Romans 6, 20, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And what is that gift? The gift God has given to us. The gospel God has given to us is Jesus Christ. If you have him, you have salvation. Hallelujah. So the gospel is not a thing, as I said. It's a personality, and that personality is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has rescued us from the power of sin and from the power of darkness. Amen. So, from the passage, Philippians 2 12, 16, Bible says, Paul said, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more. In my absence, continue to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you. It is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. And he said, do everything without complaining or arguing so that you become blameless and pure children of God without fault in the crooked and perfect generation. Hallelujah. Paul say, asempano, just say, yenye yen kwa ji yen kwa juma, yen fa usuro eni ahun popo, usuro eni ahun popo, senia, ukwa juma, umpeso obeye lit, sena wabra bo, physical things, ye ye spend the time, e, 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 she say, ye no ma beye yen, we should pay more attention even to the kingdom business, our life, when we die, where do we spend eternity? When you die today, where will you spend eternity? Paul said, we should work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The gospel should be our standard. The gospel is our standard. We live according to the gospel and according to Jesus' standard, what Jesus has said. And one of the standards is the new commandment I give you, love one another. The gospel talks about loving one another, showing love, showing kindness, showing compassion to one another. He said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Adentia, osura hininu, ye gwekwane mako mako, ubiya bebu na konta baku baku. O papa ye sofokura, you will grant account, your own account, not in the name of your reverend minister or your father who is a minister or a pastor. Each and every one will render his or her own account. It is appointed unto men to die once. And after death, there is judgment. Just someone say and say, Yenya 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 complains when you tell me 
wenya kame wenya ye mi se gospel ne mpesa gospel ne pa bra bo pa suba mpa ni enyame ahye ye se ye nye no eno ene wose ye ye ena daachi bi to bend to ne boma when the trumpet is sound you be among the chosen generation you be among the saint work out we are in perverse generation paul said in philippians we are in crooked generation things are not working well things are not working right it is time for christians to rise up and live according to the gospel so that others our lifestyle will attract others to christ oh god help me to live according to the gospel may it be your prayer god holy spirit help me pray that god help me to live according to the gospel god bless you and keep you ye ya ho ho ene man franfo ya sa se me ha baby ye ni fi papa wa put examine yourself examine your life let us examine our life let us put our hope in order because one day god will call us into eternity whether you be in hell or in he- in heaven it depends on how you live your life on earth don't forget the theme is live according to the gospel not according to the dictates of the world not according to the lust of the flesh not according to the lust of the eye not the pride of life we should live according to the gospel and the gospel is salvation the gospel of jesus christ the gospel is good behavior may god bless us and keep us and now and forevermore i'm reverend foster kufian prophet minister of presbyterian church of ghana peace and life to you all bye bye